thought about one of my favourite subjects, parking fines. A whopping 5.6 million parking tickets were issued in the UK last year, a fifth up on the previous year. That's a ticket every six seconds. Most of them were to me, but what can I say? A roundabout's a great place to dump a Clio. <laughs> What I'm most interested in are private parking firms. They're the people who monitor if you've paid to park and fine you if you haven't. You've got some facts about them, haven't you, Prue? Right, facts. Yes, please. They make 500 million a year from issuing tickets on behalf of landowners. Five... That's a beautiful stat bomb, that one, Mark. <laughs> Don't try it at home. <laughs> <laughs> that is a lot of parking tickets. Do you get a lot of parking tickets, Prue? No, because John does all the driving. I imagine you're sort of dump-it-anywhere kind of person, just zigzags uh, the, outside of school well, kind of thing. If I got a ticket, I would say it was his. Which is a crime. <laughs> <laughs> but it's... <laughs> It's, uh, it's no surprise how many of these tickets get issued when you see how strict the rules can be in some car parks. Let me show you. I've been to car parks all over Britain for reasons that do not concern you. <laughs> this is the most stupid car park I've ever come across, although the owners say it's actually two of the most stupid car parks I've ever come across. Let's take a look. Hi, it's me, Joe Lyson, overlooking the McDonald's and Starbucks at Stansted Airport. It's OK. Hi, it's me, Jay Lysett, overlooking a model of the McDonald's and Starbucks at Stansted Airport. Let me explain what's happening here using little toy Joe. He goes into this car park and parks here. He gets out of his car and goes into Starbucks for a mocha, then over the way to McDonald's for a quarter pounder and six McNugs. Then he gets back in his car and he drives all the way home to his hideous wife and stepdaughter. <laughs> but imagine Toy Joe's explosive toy rage when he discovers he has a parking fine for £100! Ah! Yes, I know it's £60 I have a pay within 14 days, but we can't go to Benidorm now! Why did this happen? <laughs> Let's review. You see, despite this looking like one car park with one entrance right here, it's actually separated into two car parks despite being managed by one private parking firm, Met Parking. Met Parking have covered this site in all sorts of different signs, which I suppose are meant to be helpful, but who's got the time to read all this? The key point is in the small print at the bottom of this big, complicated sign, which states that McDonald's is a different location, and anyone who leaves sight, even if they've just bought a coffee from Starbucks, will be clocked on the CCTV, have their reg plate taken by the automatic number plate recognition technology and receive a fine. Not cool! I couldn't just stand by and let innocent people get caught out by Met Parking's confusing one car park that's actually two car parks car park. <laughs> I needed to take action. Dressed as a high-vis superhero. Hello, I'm Joe Lyser, and I'm dressed as a lollipop gentleman. And I'm here to warn people that if they park in the wrong place, they might get a fine. Stop! Where are you parked? You're parked in Starbucks, no. but are you going to McDonald's? No. They'll find you, cos they follow you on the CCTV. Oh. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. You guys aren't going to Starbucks, are you? Good. Not, not even for a mocha, they'll find you. Happy to help. Oh, yeah, yes! <laughs> Sorry, that's an instinct I have. Stop! Stop! Are you guys going to McDonald's? I should get a Pride of Britain award for what I'm doing right now. Have you parked over there? They'll give you a fine. What's your name? Uh, my name's Andy. Hello, Andy. I'm Joe. Nice to see Hi. you. So you've been caught out by this car yeah, park? Yeah, the problem was with me, it went straight to my company. My company didn't pass it on to me. Right. Uh, so the fine obviously went up. Oh, God. Um, went up to quite a bit. It went up to nearly, nearly £400. £400? Yeah. I got, had the evidence, so yeah. it clearly showed me parking here. Walking into Starbucks. And they'd filmed you doing all filmed that? Filmed doing that. Shows me walking over to there, walking back, getting my van, driving out. So basically, what they're saying, I should have bought my coffee from Starbucks, yeah. then driven into McDonald's and parked in there. It's insane. Isn't so, it? yeah, it really, it should be clearly dis displayed this being one car park, that being a separate car park. And it's not. Yeah. It's not. What clearly. do you think of my sign? Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I'd seen it. <laughs> I'd seen it before. <laughs> Now, back to Met Parking, the private parking enforcement company who believe that if a fillet of fish comes in contact with a white chocolate mocha, it will lead to the end of the universe. <laughs> and as far as I'm concerned, it can't come soon enough. 
<laughs> Earlier on, we saw how you can get a fine for popping into the wrong restaurant at Met Parking Stansted Car Park. I wanted to ask Met Parking why they were operating two car parks on the same premises, so I tried to get hold of them. Turns out they're rather difficult to find. We checked their website. Here it is. Lots of pages that said, coming soon. Aren't we all, love? Best not to brag about it. <laughs> There's a customer number. We rang it, but we could only leave a message. There was an address, but it's only a P.O. box, not a proper office. Eventually, we found what looked like a real address for Met Parking, but it turned out that was just a forwarding address. They're really hard to find. It's easier to join ISIS. One of our researchers checked. <laughs> Hi, Tim. He won't be watching. <laughs> It seemed the trail had gone cold. I felt the only way you'd know where Met Parking actually was was if you were working there. So that's what I decided to do. I applied for a job with them, and amazingly, they gave me one. <laughs> Let's find out what happened on my first day by watching it. I hold here the most valuable piece of paper I've ever held in my life, the address of Met Parking. But could it be true? Could this unmarked office building really be their headquarters? Well, if one car park can be two car parks, anything's possible. If this did turn out to be the genuine headquarters of Met Parking, it would be the culmination of months of research. Suffice to say, myself and the team were ready to lose our sh**. As I waited for the door to open, a Met Parking big dog arrived for work. Hello. Oh, is this, is this Met Parking, do you know? It is Met Parking. Do you work for them? Yeah, Oh, yes, you're Met Parking. I'm Joe. Hello. Nice to meet you. So you're... But you. And you're Met Parking? No, I'm not. I'm another person. You're... Students. Yes, of course. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. All right. This is Met Parking! It's Met Parking! <laughs> I've got a song for you, Met Parking. I wrote a song for you. I'm going to sing it to you now. Sway along if you'd like. I need some nugs like I've never needed nugs before. Wanna eat some chicken nuggets. Had a soy latte. Now I'm back for nugs. Wanna eat some chicken nuggets. Set your cup up free. <laughs> it's the only way to be. Cos tonight is the night when two car parks become one. <laughs> yes, everyone! <laughs> car park is definitely one car park! Yes! We met Met Parking! <laughs> well, we did hear from Met Parking and they said... The two car parks in question are entirely separate, independently owned car parks. They have their own entrance and exit with prominent and distinct signs. We are not the landowner and are responsible for the management of them on behalf of each landowner, ensuring that each landowner maximises space for their own customers. Yo, claim! <laughs> <laughs> OK, if Met Parking aren't going to change their system, I'm going to see what I can do to smash it. Watch this. It's like Ocean's Eleven, but with more pumpkin spice lattes. <laughs> Joe Lysett here, planning a high-level heist at the McDonald's and Starbucks at Stansted Airport. I'm going to show you how you can park up and enjoy the delights of both these chain restaurants without moving your car between them. All under the ever-watchful eye of Met Parking's state-of-the-art ANPR and CCTV cameras, without ever getting a single parking fine. How, I hear you say? Whoa! Let me show you. <laughs> Wearing this red cap, I pull up and park outside Starbucks. AMPR will snap my number plate, and CCTV cameras here will catch me heading inside the restaurant. Hello. Can I get a grande soy mocha with a bit of cream on top, please? I will then rendezvous with a hen party. Oh, hello, girls. Where I hand off the beverage for safekeeping. Am I all right to leave this with you just while I go and sort something out with the car? Exchange made, I head outside. Where I bump into, an old friend. Hey, man, how are you? All right. Who just so happens to be a similar height and weight to myself. It's not a coincidence. This is all planned. It's a heist. <laughs> While we chat, the hen party makes their way to the hen wagon, which probably stinks of Lambrini and sadness. I head back to my car, obeying Met Parking's rules by the letter by never leaving sight. Except for one small thing. That's not me in my car. 
You see, when the hen party headed out, their balloons obscured Met Parking's CCTV cameras for a few seconds. And at that point came the switch. As my body double headed back to my car, the real me was heading off-site into McDonald's, breaking Met Parking's rules like an absolute power legend. Inside, I order a quarter pounder, some nugs, some barbecue sauce. Then, to make my getaway, using a cheap wig. Looking stunning, I leave Mackie D's and wait on this corner, where I'm collected by, you guessed it, the hen party! <laughs> woo -woo! What could possibly go wrong? Plan, we managed to neck a decaf soy latte and six McNugs, and we didn't get a parking ticket! <laughs> we beat the Met parking system, and all we needed was a body double, a number of extras, a prop budget, several vehicles, and a film crew. <laughs> Thanks, Met Parking. You're welcome! <laughs> <laughs>